Hello and welcome back to Attingham Park. We are just getting the last of this herbicide spraying done. Um, oh, fence. <laughs> Good job there's uh, no damage in FS. Um, so yeah, started it already. Um, it's not going to take us long. We have a rather large working width. And uh, yeah, it's only a small field of oats. So... The plan today is to get this done. We are going to plant the corn and we are going to plant the soybeans. The cows are arriving today as well. So, a fair bit going on. And uh, find that building. There we go. So, just uh, killed all the moss on the roof. Um, we'll say. We'll leave it to, as that's what we were doing there. Um, but yeah, a bit of a different one um, for me today. Um, you won't notice any difference at all. Um, but uh, I've recorded this, or pre-recorded the clips. And I'm now sat um, voicing it over. So, yeah, a bit strange. Um, I'm watching myself back. Um, and uh, yeah, just talking over it. But uh, yeah, thought I'd give it a go. Um the plan with Polonia was to be able to get more content out there. Um, but in reality, it actually kind of takes just as long to do. Um, I have to record the clips, sit and then watch them back, edit tunes over them, subtitles. So, yeah, but um, try doing it this way um, and we'll see how we go. But, uh, yeah, that is the plan and... As always, appreciate your feedback on that. Oh, I'm shocking with driving over that hedge. <laughs> but yeah, not much of the field left to do, so we'll get this done. You can see in the distance, we've got the uh, planter already leased. So that is uh, going to do our corn and our soybeans. Um, well, yeah, it was nearly double corn, but uh, I'll come to that in a little bit. So... I now drive over the bit that I was trying to look for in, in a few minutes where I was like, I can't actually see that. But yeah, I'd just driven over it. Um, so I've also as well made myself a few little notes um, on things that we need to do um, that we can also talk about. So I'm just using the tree there to uh, <laughs> get backed up far enough. Um, but yeah, we need to clear out the bunker uh, with the May silage. And, uh, yeah, here's me now looking to try and find the bit that I couldn't actually uh, see in the field. It takes me several attempts to find it, but, uh, yeah, never mind. Um, so, yeah, maize silage and the bunker. Um, we need to clear that out um, because first cut is rapidly approaching um, and we need the bunker for that. So, need to think of a cunning plan to do that. Money is not looking good um, and we end up having to buy some seed um, towards the end of the episode just to finish off the soybean field but uh, yeah so I need to have a think about that um, but yeah, there we go field all done get this folded up and uh, crack on with some planting I think into the uh, field where we're doing corn on corn now um, just look in there to make sure that uh, everything's on. Now, it's a weird heading in this field. Um, not quite as weird as the one we do later on, but uh, yeah, we're in most of the field headland. But uh, yeah, we'll have to obviously catch any bits that we are missing. Yeah, it's starting to overlap a touch. Um, yeah, this. Uh, I can't remember what. Uh, how much this plant costs us to lease but uh, decent working width um, and I've never used it before I don't think so uh, yeah it was uh, nice to use a different bit of kit and the McCormick is pulling it absolutely fine um, it was a great purchase that tractor it is going to do us rather well on here so at least with the heading I'll set there we uh, caught all of that uh, side of the field on the headland 
But uh, yeah, going good. Um, so one thing that I made a note to talk about was um, I was watching, and I haven't watched them for a while, Larson Farms. Um, they were visiting Demco, who were building their um, sprayer tender trailer for them. And it was quite cool to actually see um, one of the more different brands, I guess, from FS um, actually in real life and watch them, how they build them. And yeah, it's an interesting one. So yeah, I'd uh, mention that as yeah, it's kind of weird how I haven't watched a channel for a while and then one video sparks your interest. Um, and that one really did because it was like, yeah, well, it's FS in real life. Anyway, rambling. Um, this field doesn't actually take us too long to do, which is good. Um, we need to get the uh, our new field planted as well. And uh, like I said earlier, the cows are on their way. So we are going to push on. Um, we will drop this into a bit of a montage. Um, and then that is a handy little segue into me... Uh, my next topic to talk about so i'll catch you in a few seconds We are not far off finishing the field. Um, going uh, rather well. As you would expect. There's nothing that could really go wrong um, when planting. Um, so, what was I going to talk about? Yes, that was it. Um, simulation Station. Um, another cracking uh, YouTuber. Uh, channel owner, content creator, whatever you want to call him. Um, he does one of the best montages in his videos I have think I've ever watched. Um, fantastically put together, great music choices, some cracking clips. So uh, yeah, if you haven't uh, checked him out, hop over and uh, have a look at some of the stuff that he creates, because yeah, in all. Um, but he says in one of his most recent videos that um, he enjoys editing the montages and I can properly relate to that. They are good fun. Um you get to mess around with the camera angles and the clips and finding a, a tune that fits uh, with what you're doing is yeah, it's good fun. And uh, I think a lot of people enjoy those montages. Um a bit different to a time lapse in the sense that you have to think about where you want to the views you want to do and all this lot but uh, yeah all good fun but here I was just looking at uh, how steep the field is and we we're getting a little bit of wheel slip but nothing overly horrendous it's a uh, plenty powerful it's a rather steep field but uh, yeah we're gonna push on and get this finished it will be 100% fertilized We'll probably have to come through with the uh, herbicide sprayer or if we can catch it early enough the weeder um, yeah and then failing well not fa failing that what am I on about but yeah then that will be done um, get it rolled as well um, so it is completely completely done so I don't think we're going to have enough seed to uh, complete this. Um, so we're going to go and grab the Merlot and uh, get uh, a couple of bags. Should be enough, I think. We'll probably have to top up in a bit. 
So here we are with the mighty, we'll call it the mini Merlot. Why not? Up behind the blogs. Um, but yeah, it, it lifted these four absolutely fine. Um, I was moaning to myself that I hadn't got the bag lifter in that we've got on the oaks, but the forks seem to have coped. Have a bit of a game now, thinking we could top up like this, do it properly. But no, that's the fertilizer hopper. Um, and uh, yeah, I really <laughs> took me a while to uh, realize, but got there in the end and just had to uh, lower the bags down. Uh, jump in the McCormick and hit R, but you know, nod to realism there. Tried to do it properly, but yeah, just wasn't to be. Yeah, I spent far too long faffing around with this, thinking. I think actually at one point I did turn on the triggers and uh, try and see if I was missing a trick, but then gave up and uh, yeah, after hovering it over the back here as well, the different hoppers. Oh, yeah, I'm bending the uh, <laughs> bending the end of the uh, planter. So yeah, we'll uh, cut to me actually just refilling um, as uh, I should have started in the first place. So there we go, bags disappearing, cedar filling up, and yeah, we can crack on in a minute. I have to shift the Merlot out the way, um, but uh, yeah, so. I don't know if you've seen um, the community post I put out on Wednesday, I think it was. Work is horrendously busy. Um, been in more days this week um, than I'd planned. And I've said it before, that extra two hours a day travelling um, either way to and from work just makes the day a lot longer and you've just run out of time to do anything FS related so hence the idea of me trying to record um, if I can, when I can of an evening and then uh, voicing it over and yeah we'll see I'm still really awkward at it I think you can probably tell that um, but just missed both sides of the bit you were trying to get there in Carto <laughs> But yeah, so it's worth a go. Um, if it means I can get, you know, even one more video out a week, then for me that's a win, and uh, hopefully for you as well. So that's the top headland done, and uh, well, I think we'll go and catch bits that we missed either side of the headland, and then head back down and finish off just uh, moving through my video playing a little bit more but it's not used a massive amount of fur so that uh, first application see I'm talking like I'm playing with precision farming it doesn't make any odds <laughs> so yeah I'm rambling I'm going to shut up and I'll see you in a second last bit of the field and we are all done I can't uh, think how long that took actually to do not long really in real life really um, yeah just uh, ignore that I may have driven over a bit of hedge there um, don't, uh, I hope uh, nobody sees that and comments mm. um, so yeah we're going to get folded up we will take this back to the yard and um, We'll probably um, refill as much as we can um, before heading to the soybean field. Um, but uh, yeah, that's one done. Um, I think we're going to roll off screen. We did a bit of roll in the last one, didn't we? Um, and it's not the most exciting of jobs. So I'll do that. Um, nice field of what looks to be sunflowers on our left. Would be a an interesting little uh, contract for us. Getting the odd dropped frame for some reason. Not quite sure why. Um, I didn't get a chance to uh, mess with graphical settings between episodes. Um, I need to sort out draw distance as well. Um, as we'll see in a little bit with all those weeds 
in our new field. So we'll get this parked up, get it dropped off, and uh, then I think it's time for the cows to appear. take them long to get here eventually in the end um so these are exactly as they were on Carmston. so there are 15 at 47 months and 15 at 50 months so it's quite sure for myself that i managed to work out how to do that in the xml but uh that lorry can now clear off and uh head back to where whence it came and we'll head round and uh, grab, grab, get the soybeans started planting. Um, now, I messed up with this. So you'll see that it's set to corn. And uh, now it's set to soybeans. Um, and the field state has changed somewhat. Um, yeah, I started recording, set the um, heading up, and done a few passes up and down. Uh, just set it into a time lapse and then realised it was still on corn. So, yeah, um, easy dev tools, um, set the field back to roughly how it was. So, yeah, haven't, uh, haven't lost anything and haven't gained anything. But, uh, yeah, it did make me chuckle. I was like, oh, that's a good one. We'll have two fields of uh, corn to sort. But, uh, yeah, reset it, start it again. Um, so yeah, like I said, this is going to go into a bit of a time lapse, um, and uh, yeah, we'll catch up once we are nearly finished on the field. Just about to head around the last headland or last bit of the headland should I say um, had to do a couple of passes in places um, but yeah no great shakes did need to grab the merlot and uh, refill the seed again but uh, all in all I'm very pleased with that quite a productive uh, episode I think um, like I said I'll get these both rolled off screen um and uh we can then crack on with some other slightly more interesting things um i do need to have a look for the 
uh, I can't remember who it's by. Ah, DSA Baylor. Um, I think that is going to be the best solution for um, the May silage. Although we may move into May. Um, the bunker isn't displaying how much of the May silage is left in there. So we'll have to have a look. Um, but uh, yeah, we'll come up with a cunning plan. That's it. Field finished. So we can get folded up. Um, and we'll uh, get the Merlot and the McCormick back to the yard on Follow Me. Oh, we're all, they all, me and the Merlot, we're back at the yard. And I think that's where we're going to leave it for today. Um, going to need to check on the cows and see if they need a mix, but I'll do that off screen. Um, I'll get the rolling done. And then uh, next time, hopefully we'll be into first cut, which will be cool. So thank you very much for watching. I hope you've enjoyed the episode. If you have, leave a like subscribe to the channel and I will see you in the next one. Take care.